think from Harvard or something called it an I plod. <laughs> I, I plod along is better than sitting. All right, here's some bigger gadgets. I got two portable generators, even though the main house here has a, a, a built-in generator in case the electricity's out. Over in my other building, we uh, didn't have one of those. So I've got, you know, freezers over there of stuff. And so I've got two portable generators. I got a drill press with a machinist vise. You know, one of the things that worries me about today's generation, they can't do anything. They can't do anything with their hands. In fact, one of them was bragging the only thing they learned in shop class was how to call for estimates. <laughs> All right. But my dad taught me to be able to fix stuff. So I have a drill press uh, with a machinist vise on it so I can do precision work. I got an out around checker gadget so it makes sure the drill press is, is perfectly uh, going up and down rather than wobbling. I got a cross cut saw on a big table that I can pull out to build stuff. I built, geez, I built Rubik's casket on that funeral I did for one of my protection dogs. I got an air compressor, very handy to have along. I got a jigsaw, a Makita jigsaw. I try to do high quality tools whenever I can. And I got knife blades on it. Now you say, well, what is that for? Well, I, I put insulation, this purple styrofoam insulation, all in my hunting trailer. And if you try to do it with a, a razor blade knife or any other method or a saw, it's just stuff is everywhere and the cuts aren't precise. So I found out that if you use a razor knife on a jigsaw, the cuts are perfect. There's no styrofoam all over the floor, all over sticking to your body, nothing. It just makes perfect cuts. So that's that. And then I got a router. I built an entire shelf with a Formica shelf from, a, from wood and uh, did all the trimming with a router. Those are some bigger gadgets and some tools that I use <laughs> that are kind of neat. 